Hello and welcome to Little Paxton Garden Railway. Today's video is all about how I make trees. So let's see how we've done it. I've used two methods to create trees. First one is the wire trees. And the second is seam foam trees. So first of all, we'll start off with the wire trees. This is me back in 2009, making my first ever tree. At the same time, I was making three mini dioramas. These were to go onto the layout as a backdrop. And here they are in their position on the layout. Right, so let's make a tree. First, I cut off a piece of wire, splice and remove the protective wire covering. This will be the roots and also help balance the tree. Twist the wire at the top to make your branches. The next stage is to keep adding more branches until you're satisfied with the size that you've got. Notice I've added some rings. These are where the foliage will lay on. This will all become clearer later on in the video. There is always a third option. This is a branch that had fell into my garden and so I've used it and just tied the wire around it. First, I add some filler. I know it says on the container exterior polyfiller I'm using it just because I haven't got any normal filler, so this will do for now. So apply the filler and cover all the wire. Then when dry, add the paint. I choose the Crella Grey. I use B&Q tester pots, nice and cheap. So that's basically how you do it and what size that you're going to create is up to you. The material I use are scouring pads. I bought mine from eBay. So first, cut a piece off, then tease it apart to make into two pieces. I'll speed up this process as it does take quite some time. So now we've got to change the shape. So again, this does take quite some time, but just start breaking it up, and stretching it out, making it into a shape that you're, you're happy with before going on to the next piece. So this is how it now looks. We've got our scouring pad into shape. Now we need a plastic tray, wood glue, foliage material, some water and a spare plastic cup. Pour some wood glue into the plastic cup. And add some water. Mix it up until the mixture appears all white. Drop the scouring pad into the wood glue and water mix, making sure it's saturated. Then place it onto the plastic tray. Then tease it into shape. Now add some foliage onto the, the pad. The product that I chose to use was Woodland Scenics Coarse Turf Light Green Code T63 and you can get it off of eBay.
This is me back in 2011 painting a large tree. Note the rings on the branches. This is for the foliage to lay on. And this is the tree as it looks today. Give a quick spin round. I'm pleased with the finish. I'll give it a base so I can move it about if I choose to change its position. And the position that I wanted was uh, behind the signal box just here. So I'll just put it back and that's what you'll see if you come to visit. And these are the rings that I was talking about. You can see them here. And the scouring pads that lay on the rings. And then I covered it with some foliage. I've took it off the layout because I wasn't happy with the finish. So I'm gonna improve the, the look. And as you can see, already it's looking better than what it was. You can see the underside there. And I'll I'm quite pleased with the way it's finished. A um, bit messy. Uh, the product I use is VO5 hair gel spray. It is a bit more expensive using hair gel, but the finishing effect is fantastic. Right, so the tree's finished. I brought it to the layout. I shall uh, just find out where to position it. Just there and put some wood glue down put it into into place the stones in place to hold it up just hold it secure and put a bush there as cover oh, i think so that, that looks lovely and now a sea foam tree Sea foam is a plant named Teloxis aristata. You can grow it yourself and it can be purchased again on eBay. I don't do this myself, I just buy a collection box again off eBay. This is a photo of a real tree I took locally and as you can see it looks very much like a sea foam. So first I select an item, then cut off the base so I can super glue it to the layout later on. There's always some small pieces to be found and you could always join together two big pieces and just build up to make a, a bigger tree. I like to paint the trunk and the branches with a colour, sometimes green, brown and even grey. If you look at trees they vary in colour so you can't really be wrong. Here are two large scale trees I made back in 2011. First we look at the tree on the left. I added some sea foam pieces into the rings to build it up. I'd already added the foliage beforehand. Now look at the tree on the right. Here I've added a different foliage for a different look. The product was Woodland Scenics products, bushes, olive green, and the code was FC144. And you've guessed it, I get it off of eBay. Right, so we're gonna use the same product as before, coarse turf, light green, T63. We need some more wood glue. We need a spray bottle, empty one, because we'll be putting our mixture of water and uh, some wood glue in there and mix it up. So, right, let's make a start. First of all, once you get your top off, first of all, we'll put some wood glue in. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five seconds of wood glue and some water. One, 
two, three, four, five. So that's five wood glue and five water. Put the spray pump on and give it a real good shake up to get the mixture nice. Put plenty of spray on. This is um, the foliage and all you do is sprinkle it on and then just pinch it really just so it sticks to the, uh, the wood glue. And it does it so quick it's it's really good and there's one thing to remember if you buy the uh, hairspray gel that costs quite a lot whereas this I mean it's so crikey for what you've paid for your hair gel you can buy the wood glue look look at the size of the bottle and say it's just great and just keep adding it on it's so rewarding and of course with this sea foam it's good for any scale I mean say if you've got OO these are like full matured trees for that scale so it's just a winner I shan't put any on the back because it'll be going up against the uh, scenery Look at that, I mean, say compared to what it was, and just a few sprays of uh, wood glue. And what I'll do is I'll give it another spray, just move the box out of the way. I'll give it another spray, this is uh, to lock it in. There's always a few bits that don't stick right. So here's the trees, they're all ready, nice and dry. And I shall stick them onto the layout with uh, a cheap super glue. And the area I want to break up is just here. It's the lines, the join. I want to take that away from the eyes. So this is the before, and this is the finished effect. We'll go around my layout now, showing you the different textures and shapes of the bushes and the trees. The ivy that you can see is very easy to do. Just paint a little line of wood glue and sprinkle your foliage. And the hanging down bit here is a teased out uh, scouring pad. And as you can see the ivy going around and ah this tree this is a, a scouring pad one so you can see the different types of textures that you can uh, achieve. The brambles are made by rubberized horse hair. And once again, you can purchase this off of eBay. There's some military vehicles, which gives away the theme to my layout, which is World War II. Here we see a Lancaster, and yes, it's the right scale. This is a 132nd scale Lancaster. And here we see the army boys put some camouflage onto the engine shed. And there's a magnificent Spitfire flying along. I saw this picture of the Dad's Army Home Guard and thought I've just got to get some figures to put on the layout. So I quickly ordered some 3D printed figures, painted them and then thought I'll make a little diorama as if they found a, a bomb. And this is them on my layout. And as we uh, pull out you can see the hedges. They're made from scouring pads, just shaped. And 
This is some more horse hair, all tangled up like brambles. Just paint the wood glue on it and just sprinkle it on. It's as easy as that. And here's some more ivy coming off the building. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video and you pick up a few tips along the way. And hopefully we'll see you at one of our open days. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.